And he went and lived far and fell on his face and prayed, saying, on, Oh, man. my Father, if it be possible, Prayer let, time. Lord have mercy, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thy will. Now, Amen. I want to talk on the subject called He Went to a Little Father. Oh, Lord, how you get out he of here, boy. He went a little father. A little father. <laughs> We're always talking about what we want. Yeah. But we ain't willing to go a little further to get what we want. Mm. Somebody says, I I got some food for you. Amen. Wow. Amen. And it's ten miles down the road. Come on now. You say I can go five miles, but I can't go five more miles further, Amen. Come wow. on now. If you want the food, you want to, you got you're gonna go a little further. If you now, in my sanctified imagination, why did he go a little further? He went a little further because he knew that the men were smothered in sin. Amen. Wow. Well. So he went a little further. Amen. Wow. Well. He knew that somebody was having trouble down here on earth. Mm. So he says, yes, I just got through praying to my father. But I got to go a little further, amen. Well, sometimes when you want to make a little some money, you got to go a little further, amen. Well, amen. the job may be too many miles, uh -huh. but you say, I need the money. I need the money. And so I got to go a little, a little further. Amen. Oh, yeah, I like this message. Uh -huh. He went a little further. And God wants us. To go a little further. Since the context is prayer, he wants us to go a little further in prayer. Uh -huh. He wants us to go a little further in purity. He wants us to go a little further in the practice of the gospel. My question is, have you gone a little further? Come on. Have you gone a little further? Or are you complaining my feet hurt? Are you complaining, uh, I'm running out of gasoline? What is your complaint when Jesus was about to die and hang on the cross in that context? He went a little further for us. That we might one day have the right to the tree of life. When we get to Matthew 26, it ain't no pretty picture in Matthew 26. He's moaning, he's Groaning, he's Amen. praying so hard. Amen. Amen. Wall that the Bible says what? Uh -huh. The Bible says that blood began to drop. Amen. Amen. Wall. He went a little further. Okay. And if you're gonna accomplish anything, you got to go a little further. Amen. Wall. You don't kill me. Now let me read that verse. Matthew 26, verse number. 40. Uh -huh. Listen to our church. The Bible says, let's begin in Matthew 26, 39. The Bible says, and he said, my soul. I want you to hear Jesus. He's got some soul trouble, amen, uh -huh. And the Bible says, he said, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death, in the face of death and disappointment, let downs, turn around, Kick me down. Come on, Stay me down. Okay. The Bible says when things were not going well, Jesus went a little further. You will discover when you go a little further. Mm. You'll discover that God is already down the road waiting on you. Uh, come on, come on. You'll discover that your prayers were not in vain. Uh. You discover that God is a faithful God. You discover that God is always on time. Yeah. You discover that God is in front of you, amen, wall. Yeah. You discover that God is in back of you, amen, uh -huh. wall. You discover he's on your right and on your oh, left. Yeah. He says, I will not leave you alone in the midst of sickness, in the midst of sorrow and sadness. The Bible says Jesus went a little further. I drop by to tell you, if you're going to accomplish anything in life, you got to go a little further, amen, Walt. 
Everybody want to travel the road that is easy. Amen. But what about the road that's hard? What about the road that has got holes in it? What about the road, amen, walls? It's got debris in it. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you're going to make heaven your home, you got to go a little further, amen, wall. Now watch this pad. Right. The Bible says, and he went a little further and he fell on his face. When the last time you fell on your face? Do we have any folk in here, your type of prayer, you are falling on your face? No. It didn't say he fell on his knees. Some folk don't even fall on, on their knees. knees. Hmm. Let's alone fall on their face. Hmm. Are you there in Matthew 26 and 39? It said he fell on his face. When you're facing some rough times, you'll fall on, on your, your face, face to God. Now watch what it says. The Bible says, and when he fell, he began to pray. Uh -huh. God will put you in certain situations where Boy, you got to pray. You, 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 you God will put you in situations when you run out of money, uh -huh. you got to pray. Come on, He'll now. put you in situations when you get sick, you got to pray. Come on, He'll now. put you in situations you when you keep on returning to the same old sin, He'll force you to pray. Yeah. Keep on doing what you're doing, but He's forcing you to come Amen. to Him. Amen, come on, Lord. Come on, he come on. went a little further. And what He want this morning mm -hmm. is some children that will not just go one mile, yeah. We go two miles. Jesus says, oh, if they right. compel you to go one, you go two. Amen, wow. Yeah. If they take your cloak, give them your coat also. Amen, wow. Yeah, amen. We got to go a little further in prayer. We got to go a little further in worship. We got to go a little further in purity. We got to go a little further in our singing. We got to go a little further amen. in telling others that you need the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why? Because you don't know where death is. Uh, come on now. In the face right, of right, death, the Bible says he did not turn around. He 